Hello everyone, how you doing? It's me. I'm currently doing blood builds on this. You know, it's called Star Child X. So yeah, so here we go. Yeah, so I'm got me a adamant plate body and uh, my lashes. I'm gonna take out these bio lashes. And I what I, what I'm doing here is um basically taking everything that I find and I'm putting in it into my bank. It's, it's just another term for saving, you know, just saving up. I don't want to get anything too cheap, though, so I'm dropping those things. So, yeah. I don't want to get anything too cheap. Oh, shoot. I don't want to get that one. No, I don't want to get that one. I'm going to get this one, though. Here we go. Apparently my game is lagging because well I'm recording so that makes perfect sense right it does just makes perfect sense. <laughs> yeah it does yeah so uh, <laughs> I find it quite presumptuous that I, I just find it just so amazing that how good these blood builds drop things. I was able to get me some ancient boots off of just some brimstone keys. So and it was pretty good. So yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, Three hundred fifty coins. No, I'm good. I'm good. Three hundred fifty coins. Okay, where did that three? That I'm, okay, confused. So. There's this option in, well, I'm not going to open it right now because it might crash my OBS and I'm not going to try that. I'm just not going to try that. So, uh, waiting to see what I'm going to get here. Hopefully I'll get something good off of these blood belts. I got 76 left. So, yeah, I got 76 left. I think it'll be pretty good, I guess, right? For, for a good start, right? Yes, my Slayer level is 60, bruh. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. My Slayer level is 60. Look at me. Oh my gosh. I like having a level 60 account. You know, I really do. I like that. I'm not particularly gay. I don't support. For LGBTQ, but I will tell you this: I can pretty much sound pretty much gay sometimes because it's just well, I don't support LGBTQ. I don't. I mean, I just don't support them at all. Or I mean, I don't. I mean, I just don't. It's just how it is. <laughs> what are you gonna? What am I gonna do about it? Right? I mean, you know, particularly from from your perspective, I wouldn't be supporting LGBTQ. But the thing is, is I find it quite wonderful, and I, I'm gonna I'm gonna upload this video to the internet on my YouTube channel, uh, the Blunt Philosopher, because I want you to know that there were philosophers in medieval times. And this game is based off of medieval times, but it's a fantasy game. It's got a lot of fantasies that weren't really in our historical timeline, but it's in this one. But I am indeed a philosopher. No, that's what they were back in the day. Putting pieces of puzzles together and playing video games is like the same thing, you know? same thing because you're putting all the pieces of puzzle together and right now I'm trying to put the pieces of puzzle together in this game I was doing pretty good on my Clash Clans so I just decided to just say oh okay all right I'm gonna play Clash Clans all right it's just how it is right oh an ancient shard oh shoot love it love it another ancient shard isn't that nice 
Well, I'll have to put that in my bank. Hopefully, I get about a million of them when I'm here. <laughs> Hopefully, I do. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my god, I got a fucking blood veil. Look at these blood veils. It's just so ugly looking. They have freaking tongues sticking out of their faces. They don't even have eyeballs or ears. They just have freaking large green tongues hanging out of their face. Was just flopping around. I seen two of them kissing earlier. Thought it was disgusting. Like, oh my god. Ugh. My goodness gracious. I ain't ever seen something so gross in my life. 105 air rooms. Isn't that nice? But I've never seen anything so gross. I mean, it's like very disgusting. I may not have very much experience making YouTube videos, but I feel like it's a necessary comp. It's a necessary thing for me because I feel like that I'm really good with talking to people. You can say that it's autistic, but one of my problems is I have a severe speech impediment. So the only reason why I'm speaking right now is because I'm on my meds. But if I get off my meds, I'm literally, you can literally tell I have a speech impediment. You can literally tell. Right now, my brain is perfectly stable, and that I like that, and that's good, because, well, I live in a community home, and I feel like, I feel like it's working. Whatever it is, it's working. And I don't want to just get off of it, because that would, you know, that just wouldn't be wise. It wouldn't be. It just wouldn't be wise at all. I'm going to get some. So, the thing is, is, I feel like the things that happened in the past, in, in the very past, you know, I feel like I had to discuss some things with people in my counselors and stuff like that. They, they particularly would think that it was crazy if I did say what I said. I said that I was Jesus. Yeah. Excuse me. I had to fart. Good thing you can't smell it through my computer. Ah, uh, <laughs> so it's a nice little blood build. Look at these little. They don't even look like they have fur. Look, they look naked. They really do. Like they don't have any fur. Ugh, goodness, ugly looking things. Blood builds. These things look. Well, these sexy things look pretty damn cool. Damn, look at these hoe dimes. Look at that. You look freaking cool, brother. You look cool. Oh my gosh. Hill Giants. Man. Man, man, man. Oh, so ones. I'll take it. I have like 16. Oh, right there. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now I got 20. Isn't that nice? Yeah, so. Oh, come on. You're going to have to move over now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. I sound like my mother. If you ever heard my mother speak, she kind of sounds like she's a drug addict when she speaks. Because, I don't know, she has hormone issues. And she has menopause, so it's really hard on her. So, I feel like, you know, it's just, it's just the way it is. You know what I mean? It really is. I'm not really gay, but I do kind of sound gay if you want to talk about it in another form or something like that you know I'm not really gay I mean I'm just I sound gay <laughs> I, I know I know it kind of sounds like I'm gay but I'm really not you know I'm really not gay I sound gay I don't particularly support LGBTQ but I feel like I just I don't know I just don't support it though I feel like it's a, it's disgusting and, and though I, I do watch gay porn, don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm guilty, I'm not really guilty of that, but I'm not guilty of watching gay porn, I just, I do watch it, that's a secret, I had to let that out, I watch gay porn, but it's, if I did it in real life, do you know how disgusting it would be? I would be sticking my you-know-what in their dirty freaking ass. That would be terrible. Kids, 
If you're listening, hold your freaking ears. Okay? Hold your ears. Do not listen. Please. Okay, please. Alright, hold your ears. Okay, uh... <laughs> apparently we're all kids, and apparently we shouldn't really be getting into that stuff anyways, but people apparently do, because they feel like they're mature enough to do so. So, well, you know. Gay marriage is basically a thing, so... I don't know why it's a thing, but it's... In my book, I don't like it. I don't particularly think... Gay marriage is completely against the sacred right, the sacred right of marriage. It's not the way marriage is supposed to be. I mean, marriage is supposed to be between man and a wife. Not husband and husband. No. No. To just change that up is to just change the whole thing. That's breaking that sacred thing, that, that marriage, that bondage. You can't do that, you know? I mean, gay marriage shouldn't even be a thing. I mean, there's no other source outside of the Bible that tells you you can just sit there and marry a guy if you're a freaking guy. I mean... I'm not speaking against gay people or anything, but I'm just saying, like, don't just do what you want to do, because, because then that's your problem, you know, and that's the thing, when you could, when you think you can just do whatever you want, do you know how a spoiled of a person you would become? Do you know how spoiled you would be? You'd be able to just do whatever you wanted to do. And, and the more you... Let, let me give you a, a hint. I smoke cigarettes five times a day. Well, too much too much cigarettes can cause you to have major addiction. So, if not, so for instance, you just do whatever you want. Well, you become a slave to that addiction when you do whatever you want. Do you, do you think it's okay to do whatever you want? No. Is it okay to be addicted to cigarettes? No. Not, you think it's okay because it's a stress reliever. But just because it's a stress reliever, does that make it okay? No, it doesn't. Because if it was okay, you would actually feel okay. But you don't really ever feel okay when you do cigarettes, you actually feel worse. You feel worse. Because then you just can't stop smoking cigarettes. Addictions aren't good. They make you feel worse than what you already feel. And that's how cigarettes and marijuana and stuff like that is. That's why kids aren't supposed to be taking that stuff. They're not supposed to be. Because it makes you feel worse. You feel like you need it every day. I mean, think about how good you would feel if you never started smoking cigarettes. If you never started smoking cigarettes, do you know how good you would feel? You would. You think that smoking cigarettes makes you feel good. But I need to, I need to tell you this too. Smoking cigarettes makes you feel worse. It makes you feel worse. Because when you feel like you need cigarettes, that's when you need to stop. That's when you need to quit. Quit while you're ahead. Because the more you do it, the more your lungs is going to contract to it. And the reason why it damages your lungs, it doesn't just damage your lungs. Your lungs feel like they need to smoke so basically you're just feeding the bacteria or the whatever it is to your lungs to the to the pain to the sore you're just feeding it to it and you can't just and that's what makes you feel worse is when you're just feeding that pain you can't give the pain what it wants because that's what you do. Cigarette is not going to help your anxiety. You think it does because it's in your head. 
It's all in your head. You think it does. But it doesn't help you. You know, it just doesn't. And the being a philosopher means that you have to be precise in everything you say. You have to have meaning. You have to think. You have to put all these things together to create the right answer. And I do that. I'm very good at that. Very. I'm a very good philosopher. I was told once that I wasn't a good philosopher because I said that I was Jesus. And that means that I'm not a philosopher because I, the one thing that I said meant was not true. I wasn't putting all the pieces together. But that's not what makes me a philosopher. That's getting the wrong answer. Philosophers get the wrong answer all the time. Did you know that? Yeah, I thought you knew that. They do. They get the wrong answer all the time. All the time. So I need you to understand that that I am a philosopher. I didn't go to college for it. I don't have a degree in it. Putting all the pieces together is part of being a philosopher. Because you have to uh, you have to think about what your answer is. And you have to put it all together. And you have to fill in. You have to fill in a gap between truth and lie. And I mean, you have to. You can't just sit there and tell every false lie and you can't just put it into a piece or a part or you can't just fit the puzzle piece in the puzzle set you know you have to be able to put it together you know you can't you just can't sit. are you serious bro okay apparently somebody in my house is using my internet I'm gonna tell you who that is because it's confidential information. Dude, are you serious? Dude! Do not kill me, you stupid blood build. Dude! Oh my god, bro! Thank you. I hate that. I keep misclicking. And I think it's this mouse. I got it from like a daily deal store. So it's like kind of broken, but it's a good mouse. I feel like there's some flaws in it though. Like some critical flaws. They're not really severe, but they pretty they really are critical. But they're ra very, very rarely do and I think it's this little surface I'm using it on to I think that could affect it as well I haven't got anything good from these blood belts so far hopefully I'll be able to get me another brimstone key because I'm ready I'm ready to get me a brimstone key I really am I'm ready to get me a brimstone key man oh man oh man oh man oh man man oh man Oh, shoot. Hello, 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 big mom. Meat pie. Wow, that's perfect. It's just what I freaking needed, too. Do not kill me, you piece of shit. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> do not kill me. Please do not kill me. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Dude, are you serious? Are you going to come get me, or are you just going to sit there? Thank you. I I attack. Thank you. <sighs> I mean, these freaking things don't even have an ass. They just have a big. Sh they just have a really short tail. Like it's just dangling. You know, like you know, like a guy's. You know what? <laughs> I'm not fixing to go there. <laughs> I'm not. Oh shoot! Broadwood. I got me a Mountain Dew. My friend, I thought it would be necessary for me to drink it. Let me go ahead and uh, click this right here. Apparently, you don't see my face. Oh, shit! Ah. No! No, 
no, no. Do not, do not die. Do not die. Please do not die. Thank you. Whew. Brimstone key, here we go. A nice old man do with my like I'm hand, you know that. But it's old and ass all day, you know that. I like these old swordfish, they're really nice. Kill them. Okay. Uh, Adam and Scimitar, isn't that nice? It's like 1,475 GP. <sighs> Might as well. well. I'm gathering everything I can find up. So, yeah. I'm not fixed to play anymore. I'm now. I'm now. That one move it out of my way. Congratulations. Congrats. Thank you, you blood belt. Please, thank you for moving out of my way. Thank you. Oh my god. I'm just kidding. I'm not trying to sound gay. But I already know that I do sound gay, so. It's been a long day. Do I sound gay to you? I mean, I'm just saying. Oh my god. Wow. Yas, I'm a freaking god. Oh, another meat pie. Isn't that nice? Why do you keep giving me meat pies? I haven't even got a meat pie for the past 100 and something kills. Now it's just all of a sudden giving me meat pies. How do you explain that? Like how? I mean, really. How in the frick do you explain that? Do, 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 do not kill me. Dude, if this thing, if these blood builds kill me, I'm, I'm gonna be freaking pissed, bro. Do not, do not, do not, do not, do not, do not. Do not kill me. Twelve on me, damn it. I got me. Why they gotta hit a that gun twelve on my dad gummit? Shoot. Come on, that gummit. Gotta hit that gun twelve on me. Why you gotta hit freaking twelve on me, man? I'm just freaking wild, bro. Dude, I'm a going. <laughs> Yes, my name is Little Damon. Oh my god. It was fucking amazing. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I'm a shit with the brothers. These little blood bells are freaking annoying. Oh my god. My name is Star Child. So if you have any questions or comments below, leave it in the comment section below. Please. Thank you. I got 60 left, and this is my. 60th blood build, and I've got 59 left, so. I'm gonna get be back later tomorrow, and if I make some progress, I don't even know if I'm gonna be here tomorrow. But, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching, and bye-bye.